Hello fellow MMA fans, check out our Fit Supplements products at fitsupplements.net. Use coupon code RANDY for 10% off and a percentage will go to my GI Foundation. Enjoy. Thanks for your support. Federation U.S. Nationals qualifier fight in the Bantamweight division scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner with a record of four wins and three losses. Fighting out of Extreme Couture, Las Vegas, Nevada, Corey Conway. His opponent stands across the cage in the red corner with two wins and no losses. Fighting out of Fusion MMA, St. George, Utah. He is Brendan Rio. Referee in charge of the action inside the cage is Chris Tyone. All right, Corey Conway is going to be wearing black trunks with dark olive green trim. Brandon Rios, black trunks with alternating black and white trim. Touch of gloves there to start things off. Here we go. Right away, you could tell that uh, Brandon's doing a good job controlling the distance. 
Shuffling out every time uh, Corey comes in. Tried to go right up the middle, man. Loyota Machida style. Corey Conway landed off. a nice leg kick before that. Excuse me? He switched oh. southpaw as well. Brandon did. He went from conventional southpaw right away. Wait, does Conway even have a heartbeat? Look how calm he is. Yeah. There's a lot going on in front of him, too. You're right. He keeps switching orthodox. Southpaw. Conway did a nice little thing. He came inside with a leg kick, trying to uh, catch him with a sweep off of it. Tried sweeping his leg out, but uh, Brandon recovered pretty well. Corey Conway is an extreme couture guy. Ulysses, you've trained at extreme couture. The uh, amateur team, that's no joke over there, man. No, Those I guys mean, are prepared. Yeah, they work hard. They have, they have a good squad over there with Dennis Davis, Robert, Robert Foles, and all that. They are definitely uh, stress conditioning and wrestling as well, uh, a la, you know, Randy Couture. Conway and uh, Bri Brandon Rios exchanging knees. They're up against the cage. And remember, we're going three three-minute rounds here in this UMAP qualifier for the Bantamweight division. Corey went with that. Tried to go with that. Oh, beautiful oh, take very down. nice. Beautiful takedown. It looks like he's going to head in with the rubber guy right here, though. Yep. He's going rubber guard to the go-go Prada as well. Brandon needs to somehow put the knee in the middle, create that distance. Is that he going position. for a go-go? He's going for the go-go Prada right there. He switched it to Olo Prada now. Plata. Look at oh, that. Oh, wow. Beautiful roll. Beautiful sequence. That's some high level grappling right there. Yeah. Went from the Gogo Plot to the old part of Brandon Rowe. He came on top, took his back down. And that was slick the right real spot off the, uh, the, the hook. Looks like he's not going to fight this off, though. Looks yeah, like he's in trouble. Conway is underneath the chin. That's tight. Referee Chris Tony taking a look. That's tight. Oh, he got out. Beautiful. Brandon Rowe is out. Nice. Out of the kick. Man, that was beautiful. It started with the old, the Gogo Plot to the old Plot. He swept, came on top of the single leg to the mount. That was beautiful. Grappling-wise, that was one of my favorite minutes of action, George, I think I've seen here at Tuffin. It's only been a minute. Yeah. Now, from here, if I was Corey, I would like to try working the pass. Maybe get shin to shin on his right shin and start passing towards his left side. Boy, that, that old school technique of covering the, the mouth and nose is still in effect, isn't it? <laughs> so it's UFC 1 stuff, right? Yeah, exactly. What does a situation like that do for uh, Conway's confidence as a fighter, Ulysses? I mean, you know, uh, he, he, had, he had to go to Plata. It was tight. He got out. He just he capitalized. He came from the moment Plata. He came back up. He was always, when Brandon stopped, Corey kept on going. Confidence-wise, I mean, it just boosted up because you know that. You're, you're, no matter what, he's not going to outwork you. And then for, for Brandon Rios, at the same time, he's got to have some confidence that he got out of those pickles. He got out of it. I mean, and on top of that, he got out of it. He came on top. He, he didn't concede the position to the very end. And even then, he was still trying to fight, trying to fight out of it. The one-minute intermission is over. And our Warriors are ready for battle in round two. Corey Conway, again, black trunks, olive green trim. And in the red corner is Brandon Rios with the black trunks and the multicolored white and black trim. Look at Conway. You would think that the fight just started. He's not breathing heavy at all. At He's all, still got man. that look on his face. Well, you know, he it's does have seven fights under his belt, so he might just be, you know, he's been there, done that type of thing. Well, also, I mean, look at the guys he trains with. He has a, a, a stellar camera, a streak of tour. They're going to push him, you know? Straight punches, Brandon. Oh, nice. Nice head kick there by Rios. Oh, oh, man. Conway fires back. Nice overhand right. Looks like Brandon's trying to find his range right here. But his corner wants him to set it up. It's very important as the amateur. Like you got to use that jab to come in to close the distance. Nice counter leg kick. How about that? Brandon, get on your, get on your bike. Move. There you go. Move. Hands up, I'm not sure if that connected. Did you guys catch that? It looked like it did. So. Like a glancing blow. Oh. Nice knee. Well, let's see here. Let's see if he goes for a ride. Head up. And there he is. He does grab hold of that neck, but Conway is out of that quick guillotine hold. Now he's on top. He's in full guard. Two minutes, Brandon. Two minutes, as you can hear, Rios' corner. That's still a ways to go, guys. Plenty of time for Conway to go to work. Right, and for Brandon on the bottom, he's going to get an overhook and control, and control the bicep control on Corey. He, he can't let Corey posture up and start raining punches on him. Climbing on those ears, Sakuraba style, huh? Looks like he shot it off a butterfly guard. No, he pulled back. Brandon, scoot off that fence. I don't know why you're hitting the fence. 
Oh, he's trying to hook under him that, that arm bar to the sweep. The only problem, is he though, trying is, to do that, or did he get his arms? No, he, he hooked under because he's trying oh, to protect the arm bar. The only problem was if he gets his hand pinned there, he's in trouble. Come up. It's almost like you want to cinch the legs up first, then do that, right? I mean, the best person I've ever seen do it was uh, uh, Fedor Melamenko. Who's that guy? Uh, allegedly one of the best, uh, greatest, uh, greatest uh, MMA fighters ever. Oh, look, you that pass. Corey Conway on top here in round two. Corey's with pinch his legs, pass side control. Stuff it straight to mount if, if he's good. He should step over right here with his, he's, he's just sumo step with his right leg straight to mount. I'm impressed with uh, Conway's fight IQ. He's yeah. a smart fighter, man. Every Very. position he gets in, he's one step ahead. Brandon Rios trying to walk with his feet there. Get, Brandon, get, the, you get on that, go, get on your knees, hit that single leg from there. Up. At this point, I think he's just got to survive this round. Oh, beautiful back take. That was looked like just like Ryan Hall's last fight. There won't be enough time to secure submission. We're gonna go to round three. On top, Corey Conway, two to nothing on my scorecard. How about you guys? I'm doing nothing as well. Yeah, I gotta go the same. Uh, Brandon Rios has a lot of heart, but right now, Corey Conway's controlling this. Brandon Rios needs a finish, or he's gonna experience his first loss, unfortunate. Rios has to make something happen here, guys. Yeah, I think Rios knows he's got three minutes to finish the fight. Goes up high, but that's partially blocked by Rios. Oh. Kick to the jewels there. He's got five minutes to recover, just like in the pros. Each fighter will be directed to a neutral corner. There's no instruction from either corner, and the referee will determine if it was intentional or unintentional. Checking out his hair right now. If it's intentional, he can take a, he can take a point. He can also take two points. You guys know that? Yeah, if it's intentional, yeah. He can also take a point if it was unintentional. I found that out through our good friend, Big John McCarthy. Yeah. We think we know it all, guys, but we really don't. There's so many rules out there, and the way they're applied, and the way they're interpreted, uh, it's it's got to be one of the most difficult jobs or the way they're out there to be a referee. Or the way they're not applied and interpreted in some uh, some situations. And all that comes to us now. Look at referee Chris Tyone. He's got to make those decisions on the spot. Yeah. Rios goes up high again. Throws a couple punches, but not much damage there. Although you can't tell with Conway, he's so stoic. Oh, nice exchange there by both guys. Looks like Rios has got a little bit more confidence here. Yeah, but I mean, he needs to use that confidence to uh, something productive because he has two minutes left to lose this fight. Rios has the crowd oohing and on with all of his fancy kicks. But he needs those kicks to land because we believe he needs a finish here or he's going to go home with his first loss. Nice push kick lands. Couple of hooks land. Conway might be in a little trouble, although he fires back with a big overhand right. Look at these guys go toe to toe here in round three. Tough enough. Amateur fighting championships. The future stars of MMA. Gorgeous George here along with Goes from MMA Junkie Radio and joining us here in the booth. Ulysses Gomez. I do like how Brandon, when he's coming in, and even though Corey's uh, throwing a combination to get, to get him to step back, he steps back, he still comes forward right away. He doesn't get let him rest. He has constant pressure on this round, which is good. Well, Rios, I think, is uh, fighting the type of fight that he wants. It's just, will he have enough time? He's down to about 70 seconds here in round three. You know, Conway, Conway doesn't look too flustered, man. He's still hanging in there. He, he may be losing the round, but he's in this fight. And he's got the style. I mean, it seems like he's got the power behind his punches where he can end this fight with one punch. Your brand does a very good job of just keeping the pressure on him. Very excellent job. 45 seconds left here. Both guys exchanging leather. Looks like Rio's getting the best of it. Although Conway's still answering with some counters. Brandon Rios taunting him. Nice high five there between both guys. 
and they acknowledge the crowd that's cheering them on here. Brandon, you got to go. Let's go. You can hear Rios' corner telling him he's got to go. Does he have enough gas in the gas tank to put it on Conway? It may be a little too late here. I think the fight's going to go to the judges. Oh. Great fight by Brandon Rios. Excuse me, and Corey Conway. That, that, that might be our fight of the night, guys. That was a great fight. I, uh, I think I'm going to end up going two rounds to one. Conway, I gave that last round to Rios. Yeah, it just wasn't enough. Ladies and gentlemen, after a three-round war, we have your winner by split decision and moving on to the UMAP tournament semifinals, the blue corner, Corey.